Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start building this currency converter using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So, this is how it works. We can see that we have this uh, input field over here where we can add the amount. And here we have two different currencies. So, right now it is set to USD and Euro. And uh, if I just add a number, so if you just type 123, here we can see that the converted value is displayed over here in euros and you can also click on this button to swap these values so now we can see it is converting from euros to usd and then you can go ahead and select different currencies from here so if i just select one of these i'll just select this currency right here new zealand dollar and now we can see that we have the conversion between new zealand dollar to usd and we can swap the values over here so this is what we're going to build in this tutorial series. Now in this first video, I'll show you how to design this using HTML and CSS. And in the next video, we will add the functionality using JavaScript. So let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called Currency Converter and I just opened it with VS Code. Now let's go ahead and create the necessary file. So let's click on New File. And let's create a new file called index.html. And let's create another file called style.css. And uh, let's also create one more file called main.js. Right, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Right here, let's type link and press tab. And uh, let's type style.css over here. And in the body, we will just link our JavaScript file. So let's tap script, call an src, and press tab. And here, let's tap main.js. And uh, now let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division. And let's give it a class of converter container. And uh, in this, uh, we need to have a heading. So let's create an h2 for that. And here, let's tap currency converter. And after that, we need to have these uh, input fields and these drop downs. And then we need to have this uh, result. So, for that, let's go ahead and create a division with a class of content. And in that, we will have the input field. So, let's create an input field. And we'll set the type to number. And uh, we will set the default value to 1.00. And then we'll set a placeholder and let's set it to enter amount and uh, let's also add a class and let's give it a class of input amount right now for these drop downs and this button let's create another division and uh, let's give it a class of select container and uh, in that we need to have these two drop downs now we need to have these two drop downs on the left side and this button on the right side. So let's add these two inside a different division. So let's create a div and uh, let's create a select. And here we'll set the ID to from. And uh, here let's add option. And uh, let's set the value to USD. And here let's tap USD, US dollar. Right now let's go ahead and copy this select. And let's paste it down here. Right now, let's go outside this division and let's create a division with a class of swap btn. And uh, in this, uh, we will have an SVG. So let's get the icon from heroicons.com. And here, let's search for arrow and let's find the icon. So this is the icon that we need arrows up down. So let's copy the SVG and let's go back and paste it over here inside this div. And now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So once you have this installed, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on Open with Live Server. And now we can see all the elements are displayed over here. And the next thing we need to do is create this result division. So for that, let's go back and let's go outside the swap button and also outside this select container division and here let's create another division with the class of result 
and uh, here for now I'll just type 00, zero. and uh, now we can see all the elements are displayed over here right now let's go ahead and style this using CSS so here we can see we have already linked our style.css file let's start by adding some styles to the body so let's tap body and uh, let's set the height of the body to 100 viewport height and uh, let's reset the margins and uh, let's type display of grid and uh, let's tap place items to the center and now we can see all the elements are in the center right now the next thing we will do is we will style this converter container division so let's type dot converter container and uh, let's set the max width of the element to 500 pixels and uh, let's set a background color and let's set it to eaf4 f4 and uh, let's add a box shadow and let's set the value to 0 8 pixels 50 pixels negative 8 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.3 Right now let's also add some padding and let's set the value to 16 pixels and let's also add rounded corners so let's tap border radius and uh, let's set it to 8 pixels right now let's also set the font family to roboto and sans serif right now let's go ahead and style this heading so we have an h2 for the heading so let's type converter container h2 and let's set the margin to 0 and let's set a margin bottom and let's set the value to 30 pixels and let's set the font size to 30 pixels and uh, let's set the font weight to normal and uh, we need to have an underline so here we can see we have this underline so for that let's go ahead and type converter container h2 colon colon after so we will use an after selector for the underline now we want this after selector positioned relative to this h2 so here for the h2 we need to type position relative and here we need to type position absolute and let's set the content to blank let's set the height to 4 pixels and let's set the width to 40 pixels and let's set the left position to 0 and the bottom position to negative 6 pixels and let's also add a background color and let's set the color to EF233C so now we can see we have this underline right now let's go ahead and style the content division so here we can see we have this division with the class of content and in that we have the input and the select container so let's type converter container content and let's set the display to flex and let's set the flex direction to column and let's add a gap of 8 pixels right now let's style these input fields and these uh, drop downs so let's tap converter container input and converter container select and let's set the padding to 8 pixels and 16 pixels and uh, let's set the font family to roboto sans serif and let's set the font size to 16 pixels and let's add rounded corners so let's tap border radius and let's set it to 8 pixels let's tap border and let's set the border to 1 pixel solid and for the color let's tap 1D3461 and now we can see for the drop down we have these arrows so I'll just remove that so for that you can just tap appearance none right now for this input field we need to set the font size larger than these drop downs so let's select the input so just tap converter container input and let's set the font size to 30 pixels and let's set the font weight to bold and let's set the padding to 12 pixels top and bottom 16 pixels left and right right now we need to have these uh, drop downs on the left side and uh, this swap button on the right side so here we can see we have these drop downs on the left side so if you go back to the html file here we can see that we have this division of the class of select container and in that we have a div where we have these two drop downs and then we have another div for the swap button so we can just add a display of flex to this select container so this division will be on the left side and this division on the right side so let's type converter container select container and let's set the display to flex and uh, let's set the gap to 8 pixels 
Right now, the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to have full width for these drop downs. So let's select the drop down. So I'll just tap Converter Container, Select Container, Select. So here we can see we have these select elements. And let's set the width of the select to 100%. And uh, let's set margin block, which is margin top and bottom, to 4 pixels. All right now, let's style the swap button. So let's tap Converter Container, Swap BTN. And let's set the width to 30 pixels. And uh, let's set the border to 1 pixel solid 1D3461. And let's add a padding of 8 pixels. And let's set the cursor to pointer. And uh, let's set the display to flex so that the icon is in the center. And let's also add rounded corners. So let's tap border radius. And let's set it to 8 pixels. Right now, let's go ahead and style the result. So for the result, we have this division with the class of result. So let's tap converter container result and let's set the font size to 40 pixels. Let's set the font weight to bold and let's set text align to the center and let's set padding block which is padding top and bottom and let's set it to 16 pixels and let's add a background color and let's set the value to 1D3461 and let's set the color of the text to white. And let's also add rounded corners. So let's tap border radius and let's set it to 8 pixels. Now, if you go back to the original design here, we can see that we also have the currency displayed over here. So, and what we're going to do for that is that here in the result, we'll also add a span and we'll just give it a class of result currency. And here we can add the currency. So I'll just type USD. And now let's go ahead and style it. So here, let's type converter container result currency and let's set the font size to 24 pixels and uh, let's set text transform to uppercase and you can go ahead and add a space over here all right so that's basically it with the design of our currency converter now in the next video we will add the functionality using javascript all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.